The Queen was hurt and exhausted by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to quit royal life and the ensuing drama they caused. The late monarch, who died at age 96 on September 8, reportedly confided to a friend that she was exhausted by the turmoil of their decision, writes royal scribe, Katie Nicholl in her upcoming book, The New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's Legacy and the Future of the Crown, via Vanity Fair. She was very hurt the confidant claimed, adding that the Queen lamented, I don't know, I don't care, and I don't want to think about it anymore. Nicole also noted that it was a source of sadness to the Queen that she got to see so little of Archie and Lilibet and that Harry and Meghan were not able to join her for a weekend at Balmoral in August, when the Queen used to host a sleepover for all of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The monarch ended up seeing Archie, three, and her namesake, Lilibet, one, a handful of times. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interviews after quitting royal life caused turmoil at the palace. Harry and Markle took their children to briefly meet the Queen when they landed in London ahead of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. Two days later the Sussexes and their children spent more time with the Queen at Windsor Castle, the day before Lily's first birthday. After the Queen's passing, Harry released a heartfelt statement expressing happiness that she got to hug her beloved great-grandchildren. According to a new book, the Queen was saddened to have spent so little time with Archie and Lilibet. Granny, while this final parting brings us great sadness, I am forever grateful for all of our first meetings, from my earliest childhood memories with you, to meeting you for the first time as my commander-in-chief, to the first moment you met my darling wife and hugged your beloved great-grandchildren, he wrote. I cherish these times shared with you, and the many other special moments in between. You are already sorely missed, he concluded. After hinting in interviews at their unhappiness, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in January 2020 that they were opting out of royal life and initially floated the idea of being part-time royals, which the Queen firmly nixed. Royal expert Katie Nicholl has a new book out about the royal family. The honorary military appointments and royal patronages held by the Duke and Duchess will therefore be returned to Her Majesty, before being redistributed among working members of the royal family. While all are saddened by their decision, the Duke and Duchess remain much-loved members of the family, the statement ended. Since then, the couple, who moved to California, have given bombshell interviews accusing the palace of dismissing Markle's pleas for help and claims that their very presence upset the dynamic of the royal family. Prince Harry also has a memoir coming out that could contain more damning details for the royal family and the couple is working on a Netflix reality show. According to Nicole, King Charles III has delayed his decision on whether to bestow regal titles on his grandchildren. It depends a lot on what happens in the coming months, particularly with Harry's book and their TV show, a source close to the king told Nicole.